In this video, I'm going to be showing how to assemble all this to make the clamp here. Um, there's quite a few different way of method of doing it, but I'm going to show you my way. So uh, let's get started on assembly. First, you want to go get the assembly. And then you go to place. Here are all my parts that I'm going to be using. Uh, so I'm going to select it all. Usually I like to bring them all in if I know what to use. Click once and escape. So now you have all the parts that you need it uh, for this. But first, we got to clean it up a little bit here so we can see what we need. Um, I know for a fact that I need four of these, so I just highlight this and do a copy and paste on this. Command, uh, control C, Control V, four times for the V. And then I need two of these, so I'm going to do copy and paste. There you have it. So the next thing I'm going to do is ground this piece because we don't want it moving around like this. So what you go is uh, right click and find ground it. So now as you can see I can't move this but I could move other one because as you can see there's a pin there so I can't move it. So first we want to do for this one is constrain the parts for it because this is how it's going to look like here. One, two, three, four, five and all the pins there and that's pretty much what I'm gonna work on uh, I'm not sure if I'm gonna have time to put this together but it's pretty much similar uh, step as putting the pin together so um okay so first what I usually do is go to the constraint and what I want to do is find that line that center line here so that's what I'm gonna need to do Let's take a look at it again here. Here it is. Okay. Select that piece at the bottom there and select that hole there. So you want to make sure that there's a center line there. So apply. Let's see. So as you can see, it's constrained to the hole, but as you can see, it's still not constrained to the the base there. So what I could do is go back to the constraint, select the inside piece here rotate around if you can to this wall here apply now if we close this we could test it out here a little bit now I can't move back and forth but I could move up and down and it's constrained right onto that so every other thing that we're gonna do now is pretty much similar so I'm gonna see if I could do it really fast for you um, okay so back to the constraint same steps select the hole that we want to um, center this would be this one here so center same thing here if you could find it there it is and apply and now we want to constrain the wall which is that and that so as you can see there's a little gap here so the dimension it's not quite uh, fitting but um, I can show you a way of do, uh, fixing that but um, usually you would tell the, your supervisor or someone that hey you know what it's kind of off what if I change it to a little bit more of a dimension so um, I could do that now if you want let's say I would highlight double click this and I go directly into the um, the parts that I need for a fact in case you want to know it's given that it's a the whole size, the assembly whole size here, from here to here, is 0.26. So if I measure this one here, this piece here, from here to here, I know for a fact that it's it's a little bit less. It's a uh, 0.26. So what we want is 0.28. So if we want to be specific on this, we could just change this here. So what we could do is go into the extrude, right click, and go into edit sketch. Actually, no, that was my mistake. Actually, you're going to go into extrude sketch, edit feature, and change that to a 0.28. And everything should always already been uh, updated to you. But go back to the assembly. As you can see. Can update it. So what I'm going to do is just going to go into here. I'm going to delete one of the mate, but you don't have to do this. You could just keep on going and then mating it if you want. Uh, but I'm going to redo this one here. Let's 
select that and select the wall apply and now as you can see it's pretty much dead even again you don't have to do this but I just want to um, show you that you could go in and update it pretty easily uh, to specifically fit um, I think the pin is kind of off too but we're gonna go along with it and try to finish it up here so now we have everything connected for these uh, what we want to do is putting putting this piece here which is going to be um, the linkage themselves so first you want to go back to the constraint select the hole with the center line select that piece there you go just apply for it and if it's kind of weird like this you could move it around too but what we want to do is make sure that you'll be able to get that hole there and then select the incident hole there apply and just bring it back if it is kind of awkward but find a way to do that so now we want to constraint the wall of the part and that oh, cancel that Do it again here. Constraint. Select there. Oop. There. Select there. Try to select the other side if it's kind of a little crazy there. Apply. And let's take a look. As you can see, it's all constraint. And this hole should be constrained too. There you go. Same thing here, just exactly doing the same thing. Apply. And if you know that this one has to be connected too, so you just put it there, apply again. So you, every single time you have to do that, you have to apply. And now we're going to constrain the wall, the part. Here we go. Apply. So as you can see, it's all applied. Now you do the same thing with the pin. Once you get into that, got four pins here. I'm doing the same thing. Center. Find a center piece here. Apply. Center. Apply. Center. Apply. Find the center again. And we have one more here. Apply. Now we just want to constraint that to the parts wall. Um, same same procedure. Uh, what we want to do is basically flush this here. So pick that and flush. Apply. And then same thing here. Apply. As you can see, you can't really see it, but what you could do is close this. You could pull this out a little bit so you could work with it a little bit. There you go. Back to the constraint. Same procedure. There. There. Apply. So if you look at the other side here, I notice that it, the pin is kind of off. So you might want to talk to your supervisor or anyone who you're working with. Um, let them know that it's a little bit off or you need to change the dimension. Um, what you could do is pretty much the same as what I did. You just double click on it. It brings you into the uh, the drawing of the parts and then you could modify it the way that it would fit the way that the supervisor want or how you want it. Um, let's go back to assembly and let's take a look here. It should all be constrained. I'm not going to put this one on. I'm just going to leave it alone because basically it's the same procedure as putting on here. And you could go into the uh, place center library here and you could add the nuts um, to support it if you want to do that. It takes a little bit longer for it to open up. Let's see if I even have that on here. taking a little bit longer than I expect it to be but there you have it let's get back out here okay so if you want to test it you grab onto this one here and as you could see it's 
not moving anywhere it's constraint but you got to make sure how you um, move it around because it, it can be cumbersome for this testing stage right now but there you have it all right don't forget to subscribe and um, talk to you later bye